Welcome to the Acid Neutralization Lab. You're going to mix together an acid and a base. Now what you're really going to look at is how does the reactivity change as the acid is neutralized. You're going to combine baking soda and vinegar and then add more baking soda to the solution and see whether it's more reactive or less reactive. And you're going to measure that. Let's take a look. You'll need the following materials. A large plastic container, a small plastic container, water, a graduated cylinder, a tablespoon, baking soda, a wooden or plastic spoon, litmus paper, white vinegar, a teaspoon, and a stopwatch. Go to the acid neutralization 9.06 lab report and print it out. You'll write down your results in a data table that has the following columns. Components of solution, volume of baking soda water solution, reaction time, litmus color, acid, or base. Now to begin this experiment, you're going to do a pre-observation, which you'll find on the first page of the lab. First, put 50 milliliters of vinegar into a container, then add 15 milliliters or one tablespoon baking soda to that solution. See what happens. How long does it continue to react? Wait for the reaction to settle down, then add another tablespoon of baking soda. Will the second reaction be as strong as the first? That's the key to your experiment today. To begin, pour 250 milliliters of water into the large plastic container. Add 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of baking soda to the solution and stir with a plastic spoon. Record the solution components in the data table. Dip the litmus paper into the baking soda water solution. In the data table record the color and note if the solution is an acid or a base. Remove and discard the litmus paper. In the small container add 4 teaspoons or 20 milliliters of vinegar. There's one, two, three, four. Record the solution components in the data table. Dip the litmus paper into the vinegar solution. In the data table, record the color and note if the solution is an acid or a base. Then remove and discard the litmus paper. Add one tablespoon, that's 15 milliliters, of the baking soda water solution to the vinegar. Use the stopwatch to time how long the reaction continues. Continue to time the reaction until you can see through the container without too many bubbles. Record the solution components. The volume of baking soda water solution, that's the total amount of baking soda water solution, and the reaction time in seconds in the data table. Next, dip the litmus paper into the vinegar baking soda water solution and record the color and note if the solution is an acid or a base. Then remove and discard the litmus paper. Repeat steps 6 and 7, adding the baking soda in 1 tablespoon or 15 milliliter increments. Continue recording the total amount of solution that you have in the container and enter that in the data table. Continue using strips of litmus paper to test the solution, record the color, and note if the solution is an acid or a base. Let's analyze the data. You're going to do a graph that plots the reaction time against the amount of baking soda that you added. 
Compare your results with your hypothesis. What happened as the solution was neutralized? And how is reaction time related to the acidity of the solution?